Amen. Yale maombi tu yaaomba hapa Mungu alitenda miujiza watoto wetu wengi walipata mashule wengine wakawa wamepata mpaka sponsor. Dada wetu mmoja dada Cypros alinishuhudia during the week akisema ya kwamba alikuwa naishi na mtoto ya, ya, ya dada yake mtoto yatima na hakujua atampeleka shule namna gani lakini last week wakati wa kutoa fast fruit akamwambia huyo mtoto weka sadaka yako katika basha yako na uende nayo pale mbele mtumishi wa Mungu akikuombea Mungu atafungua njia ya wewe kupata sponsor praise the lord alafu akafanya hivyo huyo mtoto on wednesday mama alinipigia simu mtoto wake alichukuliwa na watu wa equity bank haleluya praise the lord kwa hivyo huyo Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa ajabu Mungu ambaye anajibu maombi amen na mama pia naona nainua mkono kama una ushuhuda simama ili uweze kutushuhudia labda ni ya mtoto labda ni jambo nyingine wengine wameponywa simameni wenye ushuhuda praise the lord wapatie ni mic okay pia mimi nilikuwa na hiyo nilikuwa na watoto wawili ambao walipita vizuri na nikawa pia nina tashishi vile nitawapeleka shule mimi pia nilikuwa mmoja wa beneficiaries mtoto wangu pia alipata hiyo scholarship ya Equity Bank. Amen. Na shukuru Mungu. Mama pia alikuwa ko na tatizo na tukaomba mtoto wake akapata scholarship ya Equity Bank. Si rahisi. Watoto walikuwa wengi ambao wanachaguliwa. Kwa hivyo ni neema ya Bwana. Pigia Yesu makofi. Nambarikiwe sana kanisa kwa maombi yenu pamoja na Reverend na wale wa kuchini yake kwa kuweza kutoka kwa maombi ni kwa sababu ya hii kanisa na madhabahu ndio tumeweza kufika hapa tumefika amen mama linet dota jennifer huyo mmoja amepata equity lakini mwingine pia alipata sponsor ameenda kutepelea kwa shule alikuwa na watoto wawili yes uh, mwingine pia babake ame, amejitolea akasema atamsomesha mwenyewe amen kwa nini huyo mama anasema babake amejitolea? Huyo mama ni single, alikuwa ameachwa na yule baba akaenda kuoa mkwengine na hakuwa anashughulikia watoto. Lakini wakati huu wa maombi, Mungu akazungumzia huyo mzee akachukua mtoto, anaenda kumfundisha. Praise the Lord. Eh, unaweza kusema kwani kuna ubaya gani kama babake amemfundisha? Ni yule alikuwa ameachwa na Yesu amemtendea. Can you give Jesus a mighty hand clap? Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Eh. Kwa majina naitwa Christine James, nimeokoka napenda Yesu. Na mimi nilikuwa na msichana wangu. Kwanza kitu ya kwanza nashukuru Mungu nili travel nikaenda nyumbani huko upande wa Rongo na nikarudi nikiwa mzima. Nashukuru Mungu kwa hilo. Na mtoto wangu pia alikuwa amepita. Lakini kwa ile scholarship ilikuwa imemuita wakasema wanataka 350. Mimi nikasema ah, nika give up nikasema acha niende nyumbani tukamshughulikie lakini ikiwa nyumbani nikapigiwa simu na hao sponsors wakaniambia nirudi Mombasa tena niliporudi tukaenda pale tulikuwa wazazi wengi na watoto wengi walikuwa wamepita walikuwa na 350 and above wangu alikuwa na 337 nikawa najiuliza maswali lakini venye nilikuwa nimeketi pale watoto wakawa wanaitwa ndani wanaongeleshwa na wale wazungu wakitoka na mtoto wangu alipoingia pale aliongea na wale wazungu wakasema tuchukui hiyo max lakini kulingana na kuongea kwako tumejua ni mtoto mwerevu na tumekuchukua amen haleluya jana nimeenda nimepewa check mtoto ashalipiwa shule sasa anaweza travel hata kuanzia kesho arudi aende shuleni haleluya nimepata pia shule amen amen asante kwa yesu bwana asifiwe amen na bwana kwa ulinzi wake na wema wake kwa hakika ilikuwa siku ya ilahabisi wiki ile nilikuwa ninapata shida maana kifunguo nilikuwa siwezi ku nilikuwa unaniuma hata siwezi kulala hiyo ingine ndio ilikuwa inaongea na nguvu kidogo Na pia mkono huu mwingine pia nilikuwa siwezi kulala. Nikawa pia usiku mzima nina kesha lakini nashukuru Bwana 
baada ya mama kuja kumueleza hapa na kuniombea mikono yote niliweza kupata usingizi amen kwa hivyo nashukuru kwa asante songeni so, wale ambao wanataka kushuhudia kama una ushuhuda usikae nayo hapo chini praise the lord amen bana yesu asifiwe kwa majina na inaitwa beki nimeokoka tarehe 25 disemba ndugu yangu alifariki kwa ajali ya barabarani chama nyumbani ikamkataa tukabaki sisi saba tukaambiwa sasa itambidi tuzike ndugu yetu tukichanga pesa tukazika ndugu yetu siku ya mazishi wakasema hiyo penye tumembaki watu saba hiyo ndio siku watatumaliza walikuja wakarusha mawe kila mtu nyumbani akachanga nikiwa nikabaki mimi nikapinduka nikaambia ndugu yangu unajua niko na mamangu mahali ndio nikampigia reverend simu nikamuelezea akatuombea kila mtu nyumbani neema ya bwana ikashuka akaanza kuomba watu wote wenye alikuwa wanashuki wanarusha moyo nyumbani watu watu uwe zizi wote wakachanganyikiwa wakasema hapo kuna mtu amekuja na majini yake amesimamisha kuwaoa hao watu na mimi nikawaambia mkumbuke kuna Mungu na tunamwabudu Mungu aliyo hai na mtatuweza wakatuambia tuende lakini venye watatufanyia hatutaamini tukama nikawaambia ndugu zangu tusidi kumwomba Mungu tusimwache amen namulizika haleluya yes. praise the lord amen Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amenitendea yule mtoto mdogo. Kule kazini kuna baba mwingine ana duka yake hapo. Alishafanya amfanyia shopping yake ya shule hata kulipa pesa ya kum admission, uniform, viatu na kila kitu. Ninashukuru kwa hiyo. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen kwanza nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kuwa amenilinda na tangu nije katika kanisa hili nimekuwa nikiona Mungu atunitetea kwa jambo moja ama lingine kuna jambo lilipokea hii week on Tuesday pale nakufanyia kazi kuna kijana kwa watu wana yani anakusanyia pesa anaenda kuwekea watu clothes lakini on Tuesday alikusanya na akaenda hizo pesa akaweka mwenye akaweka kwa simu yake lakini zile zangu aniletea na ndo akatoroka akaenda Aka, watu wengi wakapoteza pesa mpaka wa leo lakini mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu zile zangu hakufikiria kutoroka nazo aliniletea amen haleluya amen usikae na ushuhuda usikae na ushuhuda na usiseme ni kidogo manake uliomba praise the lord amen Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mm. Kwanza nashukuru Reverend. Amen. Uongozi wa hii kanisa, washirika wote kwa maombi yenu kuanzia last year mwezi wa kumi kama familia tulikuwa na shida. Our dad has been very sick for the last three months. But I thank God kwa sababu ya hii kanisa na maombi Mungu amesaidia mzee, sasa mzee amepona. Amen. Hallelujah. Asante kwa Yesu. Jambo la pili e, baada wa kila ambacho kilitokea nyumbani kupoteza mama tulichanganyikiwa za family. In a way even that last year our our, fam, our our harvest ya mimea kule nyumbani ilikuwa mbaya sana. Na kule tumekuwa tukiomba, tumekuwa tukipitia hiyo hali. Lakini baada ya maombi ya baada ya maombi ya hii kanisa we went home in September. And reverend we had a very bumper harvest tulivuna sana amen kwa hiyo tunashukuru Mungu sana asante jambo la tatu pia nimeona katika mahali pangu pa kazi pia Mungu ametufungulia nimekuwa nikisafiri sana na Mungu amenifungulia njia nikisafiri napata kitu kidogo mm. nashukuru Mungu sana amen barikiwe sana haleluya <laughs> Ndugu Salasi aliniambia pasta ukiniona nimesafiri naenda mahali nitapata kitu kidogo lakini napitia kanisani nitoe sadaka yangu ndio niende wapi niende pigie ndugu makofi haleluya amen that is good and it is faithfulness amen nami asubuhi ya leo nashukuru Mungu kwa kuniamsha salama nikiwa na ushuhuda wa kuniponya tulipomaliza maombi on sunday Niliporudi nyumbani usiku 
nili naweza sema ilikuwa attack maana nilianza kuumwa tu na pande moja ya mgongo nikawa siwezi na maipi hata kulala ilikuwa shida kesho yake nikaamka nikaenda kwa chemist nikachukua mandawa painkillers nikimeza inatulia kidogo nguvu za painkillers zikiisha inaanza tena tuesday nikaamka hivyo hivyo lakini njioni nikanjikaza nikaja kanisani nikawaelezea wenzangu wenye uwa tuko nao katika indasesa wakaniombea tukaomba pamoja nikarudi nyumbani usiku siku lala vibaya sana kesho yake wednesday nikaamka kama niko na nafuu thursday nikampigia referent akaniombea friday pia nikaja kanisani njioni tukawa na maombi hapa the reference wakati huo ndio nikafunguliwa kabisa Asa njana Saturday niliamka vizuri na leo niko salama na shukuru Mungu. Amen. Asante kwa Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. Kwa wale ambao walifaumu kwa majina mimi naitwa Kenny Dotuno nimeokoka. Yangu ni machache na mpekeshia Mungu shukrani kuanzia mwaka jana. Mzee amekuwa mgonjwa on and off. We have been having a very rough time. But we thank God through the prayers after fasting. Kuzungumza na mzee hata jana tumekuwa tukasiliana naye, anasikia vizuri. Kwa hivyo namrekeshia Mungu sifa na shukrani. Amen. Shuhuda mwingine pia kulingana with the new system of the CBC it has now come through our minister who has just passed away Mzee Magoa. I think watoto watu wetu ndio the new pioneers wameanza. Hiyo pia namrekeshia Mungu shukrani maana yake kijana wangu alipita vizuri sana sikutarajia lakini kupitia maombi alifanya vizuri na amesonga mbele. Kwa hivyo namrekeshia Mungu sifa na shukrani. Kwa machache Mungu hawabariki. Haleluya. Amen. Mama Grace ndiye atakuwa mwisho unless kama okay. Amen. Kuna kijana anakuja. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwanza namshukuru Mungu sana. Mungu ni mwaminifu kwa maisha yetu na ametutetea sana. Huyu kijana wangu alikuwa amepotea alikuwa ni Muislamu na aliingia Uislamu akiwa secondary lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu kwa yote neno la Mungu linatuambia watoto wetu wanapopotea Mungu atakuwa upande wetu na atatupatia watoto wetu atuletee ninaamini neno la Mungu alikuwa Muislamu ametembea na marafiki usuri kile naamini sana maombi yale tunaomba hapa yalikuwa yanamshikilia yanamuonyesha kila kitu wafanye mabaya lakini ananiambia mamu niombee nisingie mambo mabaya hiyo tu ndio ilikuwa kwa akili yake hata ngao anatembea na hawa lakini niombe nisingie kwa mambo mabaya at long last alikuja akawekwa kwa wakiwa wamefunga ile siku kumi simepaki wakaenda kwa msikiti hapa kanjoni wanarara hapo asubuhi wanarauka wanakuja kasini lakini ile siku ya chumapili ilikuwa 24 mwezi wa 4 nikapigiwa picha yake nikatumiwa na grupu yake wakiwa na mapanga nikakimbia kwa mama akaniombea kwa maana nilikuwa sijui wamepelekwa wapi nikakimbia pale dog section nikampata hapo mtoto kuniona wana wale wenzao akasema mama usikubali wewe uko na press usikubali uanguke Osiyesi ndiye ametupatia hizo mapanga. Mimi nikasema nikawauliza pale wakani, yale waliniongelesha wakaniambia wewe mama ni nini mbaya nikawaambia huyu mtoto achawai chinja hata kuku. Na hii mapanga imesika kutu. Kama mnataka kuangamisha watoto Mungu aliye hai hii kesi haitaenda mbele na huyu mtoto atafungwa. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Mtoto alikuja akabadilika akatoka Uislamu amekuwa mkristo sasa. Hata juzi tulipokea mesa ya Bwana na yeye hapa. Amen. Na kesi alienda tarehe 30 walienda kusikia wale mapolisi hawakukuja. Namshukuru Mungu. Mungu ni mwaminifu na mubarikiwe maombi ya mama, maombi ya kila mmoja, mmenisaidia sana kwa maombi. Mubarikiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. 
kwa majina anaitwa Lawrence Aikingi Onguti kama alivyosema huyu mamangu mzazi na babangu na heshima naye mshomoroni mimi nilikuwa niko kwenye mtihani mkubwa sana mtihani mgumu nilikuwa siwezi kutembea ila nashukuru Mungu kwa yote sahihi na nguvu mpya nimepona naweza tembea kila mahali sifa zote zimbegee Mwenyezi Mungu amen dada grace alikuwa analia kusema ukweli si jambo rahisi mtoto uliyemlea kanisani ukampeleka Sunday school alafu adui anamnyakua juu kwa juu anampeleka katika ngambo hiyo nyingine na wewe mwenyewe umeokoka kweli ni kama shetani ataka kukuaibisha kukuambia huyo Mungu wako yuko wapi mbona sikii maombi yako haleluya lakini mama tulimtia moyo tukamwambia mama kushikwa kwa huyo mtoto ni kwa sababu ya wema praise the lord Mungu anakusudi ili amrudishe roho yake katika neno lake. Na kweli mtoto alikuja akasema anataka kuombewa aokoke amrudie Yesu. Na sasa amekuja kanisani. Pigia Yesu makofi. Amen. Kwa hivyo nataka nikutie moyo wewe mzazi, usife moyo, usiogope hata kama unapitia challenges kubwa kiasi gani, Yesu anaweza. Haleluya anaweza kukubadilishia anaweza kukutendea amen haleluya so today we are going to learn about uh, our father who is called father abraham amen tunaenda kusoma habari ya abraham na kila mmoja wetu tunajua story zake na tunaenda kusoma pole pole na Mungu atatusaidia praise the lord Amen. So many people wamesafiri Mrs. Munuve, kina uh, Pastor Louis, uh, kina Miguel's family Oyola. A lot of people wamesafiri, but they have gone for good purposes. Mungu amewatendea na ndio sababu wameenda. Hallelujah. So fungua kitabu chako katika kitabu cha Genesis chapter 14 verses 22. Genesis chapter 14 verses 22 the bible say And Abraham said to the king of Sodom I have lived I have lived up my hand unto the Lord the most high God the possessor of heaven and earth Praise the Lord Yeah this is the time when Abraham came from the slaughter and he gave all of his tithe to the king of kings who was the priest of the most high god who was called the Melchizedek praise the lord amen he sowed a seed and he gave his tithe all of it in genesis chapter 8 verse 22 we see that because of that giving of Abraham God did a lot of things in his life. God blessed him although he passed through a hard time waiting for the promised child, but because he obeyed God, God blessed his life. The Bible says in Genesis 8 verses 22, while the earth remained seed time and harvest time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease so the bible is telling us that in this world where we are there is a time of seed sowing and reaping praise the lord so there is a time of sowing the seeds and reaping so we christians we should be aware of our lives during the times when we are sowing seeds for us to be blessed in our lives all these testimonies we are hearing we have got them through prayer and sowing seeds hallelujah uh, even one of my daughters uh, daughter Beatrice Oburu also her daughter got a good marks and she got a good school the national school in in Kenya praise the lord so don't take it for granted usichukue hivi hivi 
hiyo maneno ambayo umeona watu wakishuhudia mambo ya watoto wamechukuliwa na serikali equity wamepata shule nzuri sijui nini saa hii kuna wazazi ambao wanaangaika wako na watoto wamepita hajui atapeleka shule gani hajui atalipa na nini praise the lord lakini wewe mtoto wa Mungu ambaye naomba hapa chuda kwa neema yake Mungu amekulipia karo haleluya au umeshapewa cheki kama huyo mama anasema amepewa yake. Dada yetu anasema wake ashalipiwa mtoto ni kwenda tu shule. Anaenda tu umekuja my son. You are sorry. Umemtamea. <laughs> Anataka kiboko, si ndio? Haya nimekusamea, watu wamesema nikusamee na usichelewe tena. Amen. Bado ana train. <laughs> Ajui kama yeye ni mtumishi, ako suppose kuja ya mapema. Amen. Okay sorry you can continue. Praise the Lord. Amen. So mumsame, amen. Anaendelea na mimi. Hallelujah. Okay, forgive him. He's continuing with me. <laughs> so after that we see in Genesis chapter 12 of what Abraham did. Baada hapo katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura 12 tunaona mstari wa 7 tunaona kile kitendo ambacho Ibrahimu alitenda God loved him Mungu alimpenda and he appeared unto him Na Mungu akajitokeza kwake And the Bible says in verse 7 and the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto thy seed I will give this land and there he builded an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him Mwanzo sura kumi na mbili mstari wa saba Biblia inasema Bwana akamtokea Abrahamu akasema Uzao wako nitawapa nchi hii Naye huko akamchengea madhibahu Bwana aliyemtokea Hallelujah Hallelujah We see God chose Abraham Tunaona Mungu akimteua Ibrahimu out of his people kutoka kwa watu wake who are worshiping idols ambao walikuwa wakuabudu miungu He was chosen out of the of the clan alichaguliwa kutoka kwa ukoo huo That means God already had seen his heart from the beginning Hivyo inamaanisha kwamba Mungu aliona moyo wake kutoka mwanzo Do you know God knows your hearts from the beginning Je unajua Mungu anaifahamu moyo wako kutoka mwanzo Even since you were born Hata wakati ulipozaliwa He had already chosen you Tayari alikuwa amekuchagua He had a purpose for your life Alikuwa amekusudia maisha yako It doesn't matter where you are coming from Maybe you are coming from the family where people are witches or drunkards or people who, who are not counted to be worthy. But God has chosen you out of there. He has a purpose over your life. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what he did with Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to show that Abraham had uh, obedience in his heart. Whenever the Lord talks with him. He builded an altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He put a place where he connects with God. He gave sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave his tithe. He gave his offering. To show God that he is appreciating. The promise. Which the Lord has given unto him. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, Leo, I am prophesying over your life. Any time when you have met with your God, build an altar for him. Put a sacrifice for him. Connect with the Lord. And he will bless your life. Can you give Jesus a mighty hand clap? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amina. There are three things which God gave to Abraham. Abayo Mungu alimkabidhi Ibrahimu. 
the promises Ahadi. in that place where we have read Mali pale and also in chapter 15 number one the Lord promised Abraham the descendants. Praise the Lord. Chapter 15, verse 18. Let us read. In the same day, the Lord made an, a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given the land from the river of of Egypt and to the great river of Euphrates. Why was God doing this to Abraham? Why was not he talked to other people? Is he uh, having a lot of love for Abraham than others? No. The Bible says God loves a person who has got a spirit which is, uh, is contrite and broken before him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want the Lord to speak to you, allow your heart to be broken before the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. If you want the Lord to speak to you, allow your heart to be contrite and straight with God. Obey the word of God. Obey what the Lord is telling you. And God will be closer to you. Amen. Hallelujah. The promise of number two. He promised him to give him the land which he had promised to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First, he, he promised descendants. You cannot have a land without descendants. That time, Abraham did not have even a child. But by faith, he believed that God will give him the descendants. As I promise you today, I can prophesy over your life that God will bless you with big houses. God will bless you with big things in your life. Although now you have nothing, but if you believe in future, God will change your life. He will change your life. And you will find that you have what the Lord has promised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive it in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. He said to, to, to Abraham, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house and to a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Kitabu cha mwanzo sura kuminambili kwanzia ubeti wa kwanza nitasoma kuwezo wa roho mtakatifu Bwana kamwambia Abrahamu toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako uende mpaka ile nchi nitakapokuonyesha mstari wa mpili. nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki Na kulikuza jina lako Nawe uwe baraka Mstari wa tatu Na minitawabariki wa kubarikio Nae akulanie nitamlani Na katika wewe jama zote za dunia Watabarikiwa Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord Abraham by that time Ibrahim kwa wakati 
ule. God was speaking to him after he had come out of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning God is talking to you after your salvation. After he has delivered you from your sins. After he has called you. He is now giving you the promises of Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will make your name great. He will give you the descendants. He will give you the land. Believe that word. Because you are a child of God. You are a descendant of Abraham. Even if right now you don't have children. You are not yet married. Or you have not given birth. There is nothing impossible with God. At this point when God was talking to Abraham. He did not have a child. He was growing old. But the Bible says. He believed the word of God. He believed the word of God. This morning. I am praying that you believe the word of God. I don't care what you are passing through. I don't care where you are living. I don't care whether you don't have a penny. I don't care whether you cannot pay your rent. But what I know that my God doesn't lie. Whatever he has said will come to pass. May it come to pass in your life. May it come to pass in your family. May it come to pass in your business. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I am an example of what God is saying. I have seen many people in this house. God changing their lives from nothing to something. So, so long as you are faithful to God. When you are continuing believing God and you are in his presence all the time. God will change your life. He will never leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you are passing through today. Don't change your life and go to the other side. Don't go and pay allegiance to the people of devil worshippers. Don't go and give sacrifices of humans so that you can get wealth. No. The Bible says the Lord is the one who gives power to get wealth. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. As I am standing before you today, I used to sleep on a cattle. I used to sleep on a cattle. I used to walk on food from Kisauni to Changame. With my children on my back. One child I'm carrying and another one my husband is carrying. Walking on foot. Going to church in Changamu. And, and after the service we walk again going back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know how to sleep hungry. And yet I am serving a living God. My husband was a service leader. He was a powerful singer. But every Sunday, 
kila kila jumapili he was having one suit alikuwa na suit moja kaunda suit which was torn at the back kaunda suit ambayo iliraruka upande wa nyuma i used to take a, a handkerchief to put on that suit nilikuwa nikichukua kilikanga nikuzuia mali kuna shimo he didn't any clothes to change on a sunday au tumkuwa na nguo ya kubadilisha kila jumapili praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe but walking with the lord lakini kutembea na bwana has changed my life mungu amebadilisha maisha yangu he has changed my family amebadilisha maisha yangu he has changed my life amebadilisha maisha yangu from walking on foot kutoka kutembea kwa miguu to, to going on a matatu na kupanda gari la matatu la bilia and now driving my own car na sasa kiendesha gari lake can you give jesus a mighty hand to praise him on the lord bwana yesu asifiwe you can admire my life unaweza ukatamani maisha yangu you can say i want to be like mama bishop unaweza kusema unataka kuwa kama mama skofu let the lord pass you through my steps wacha bwana kupitisha kwenye mapito yake and then you will reach where i have reached na wewe utafika mali amefika haleluya haleluya i did the work of messenger nilifanya kazi ya mtarishi i did the work of selling ground nuts and selling mahamri nilifanya kazi ya kuza jugu karanga na mahamri to get money ili apate pesa to help my children ili asaidie watoto wake and he was helping my grandmother and his children to go to school na pia akisaidia wazazi wake na wachukuu kwenda shuleni praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe but after they become big lakini bado wakiwa watu wazima nobody had helped us hakuna mtu yote ambaye jesus christ who we were we were working for ila yesu kristo tunayemtulikwa tukimtumikia help my life akasaidia maisha yangu akasaidia family akasaidia watoto wangu haleluya haleluya and give jesus a mighty hand clap praise the name of the lord mazuri bwana yesu asifiwe today this morning leo asubuhi i want to encourage you whether you are sleeping hungry whether you are sleeping on a carton whether you are your door is closed be encouraged you are a child of god you are a descendant of abraham God is going to change your life one day you will live in a bungalow you will live in a gorofa you will open your own car you will have your own gate may you receive it in Jesus mighty name Jesus mighty hand la praise the name of the Lord He told Abraham you will be great utakuwa mkuu your children will be great watoto wako watakuwa wako descendants will be great uzao wako watakuwa wako because you are a descendant of abraham kwa sababu wewe ni uzao wa ibrahimu receive that greatness in jesus name receive that greatness in jesus name can you give us a mighty hand clap hallelujah bwana yesu makofi amen amen praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe i was having only one clothes to wear on sunday which i bought in kongowea in 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 not in kongowea those days was in 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 mwembe tayari ambao ndilinua mwembe tayari sio wakati ule kongowea haleluya haleluya I bought it at 5 shillings. Nilinua kwa shilingi 5 peke yake. That one I was wearing every Sunday. Na hiyo ndio vazi alikuwa kila kila Jumapili. Pamoja na watoto wake. Amen. Amen. But today, lakini leo, my wardrobe is full with clothes. Kule kabati langu limejaa puli puli. The problem I'm having on Sunday is which one will I wear? Yaani kifikapo Jumapili kasiza na shindwa nilinda lipi nitakalo lifaa? I have given and given. Nimepeana na kupeana. But God gives back to me. Na Mungu ananirejeshia tena. Abundance. Kwa utele. Which is stretched down and running over today in the name of Jesus I'm prophesying over your life that God will bless your family if you obey the word of God you continue to be faithful walking in holiness giving to the Lord and making altars to the Lord preaching the gospel obeying the word of God and God 
will bless your life. People were laughing at us. People were saying we are foolish. We have gone to school and we are behaving like foolish people. They were saying salvation has made us foolish. Even when I, re I resigned from my job to come and help my husband do the work. People abused us. They laughed at us. They said we are stupid. They said we, we don't know what we are doing. But we said we are serving a living God of heaven and earth. We are serving a living God of heaven and earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, Leo. our home is where they come for help. They come for help from our home. Today, Leo. the Lord has lifted our children. Today, Leo. the Lord has lifted my life. I am seeing a hand of God through the help of the Lord. We, we built this church where we are sitting today by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to change your life. He's going to change your life as you continue obeying the word of God. Can you give Jesus a mighty hand clap? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God did covenants with Abraham. Mungu akafanya agano na Ibrahimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 17 verse 2 he said I will make my covenant with you with me and you. Sura ya mwanzo 17 kuanzia ubeti wa pili. Nitasoma kwa wetu ana mtakatifu. Mbili mpaka tano kitabu cha mwanzo sura 17 kuanzia ubeti wa pili hadi la tano. Nitasoma kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Nami nitafanya gano langu kati mimi na wewe. Nami nitakuzudisha sana sana mstari wa tatu. Abraham akanguka kifudi fudi. Mungu akamwambia akasema, "Mimi agano langu nimefanya nawe." Nawe utakuwa baba wa mataifa mengi mstari wa tano. Wala jina lako utaitwa tena Abrahamu. Lakini jina lako litaitwa Ibrahimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Chapter 17. Sura ya 17. God gave a covenant with Abraham. Mungu akafanya kano na Ibrahimu. And he told him how he will be blessed exceedingly. Abraham believed. Abraham wakamini. The Bible says he obeyed and he, 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 he fell on his face. He believed. Aliamini. Although he had nothing by then. Although he didn't have a child. Although he didn't have anything. But he believed the promises of God. Today, Leo. the Lord wants you to believe his word. Because you believe, three years will not pass without your life changed. Three years will not pass without you seeing the blessings of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And another thing he did to Abraham, he changed his name. He changed his name. Today, today, God is going to change your name from a struggler to a blessing. Mutu wa kuomba omba Amina. Na ukaingie katika mutu wa mbaya mebarikiwa Amen Praise the name of the Lord Amina. Yule mama wa kuomba omba Leo hii anaendesha gari yake Amen Yule baba wa kuomba omba Leo hii anaaye ana, kampuni yake Amen Yule mama ambaye ana, anafagia yes. Leo hii yesu wa mebariki maisha yake Amen God is going to change your name Mungu anaenda kubadilisha jina lako Atabadilisha jina lako From the former life Kutoka 
the light of your ancestors to the, the ancestral uh, name of Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Let your name be changed today. Let your name be changed today. Let your name be changed today. In Jesus' mighty name. From a cast one to a blesser. From a failure to abundance. From a tail to a, a, to, to, to a, a head. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Can you give Jesus a mighty hand clap? Hallelujah. And in chapter 22, we find Abraham had gotten a child. After uh, chapter 18, after receiving the guests, he got the child. And then later on, he was now told to go and give his son as a sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Amen. And all of it, he was obeying the Lord. And the Lord said to him that now I know that you love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Another person whom the Lord also uh, promised blessings. Yes, Joshua. Let us open the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Yes. After Moses had died, yes. After Moses had died, Joshua was a, 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 a young man who was walking with, with Moses. Joshua He was carrying his basket for him. Praise the Lord. He was walking with him. Moses used to send him. So he was seeing what Moses was doing. Amen. Amina. So, Joshua chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says, Be strong and of courage, for unto these people shalt thou divide an inheritance the land which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for them thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Kitabu cha Joshua sura ya kwanza kuanzia ubeti wa kwanza nitasoma kuweza wa Roho Mtakatifu ikiwa baada ya kufa kwake Musa mtumishi wa Bwana Bwana akamwambia Yeshua mwana wa Hanuni mtumishi wa Musa akasema mstari wa pili asoma mstari wa sita kuendelea haya tumradi mstari wa sita Kitabu cha Joshua sura ya kwanza mstari wa sita na nitasoma uwe hodari na moyo wa ushujaa maana wewe utakayewaridisha watu hawa nchi hii niliyowapia baba zao ya kwamba nitawapa mstari wa saba uwe hodari tu na shujaa mwingi Uangalie kutenda sawa sawa na sheria yote aliyo kwa muru Musa mtumishi wangu Msari wa nane Kitabu hiki cha Torati kisiondoke kinywani mwako bali atafakari maneno yake mchana na usiku upande kuangalia kutenda sawa sawa na maneno yote yaliyoandikwa humo maana ndipo Utakapo fanikisha njia yako Kisha ndipo Utakapo sitawi sana Hallelujah 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 when you obey the word, you will make your way prosperous. 
ufanikishwe and then have good success nawe utakuwa na fanaka hallelujah hallelujah all the time people want success they want to be prosperous but they don't want to obey the word of god these things which god was talking to joshua were the promises of abraham he gave to him in the chapter 12 and 15 of the book of genesis hallelujah hallelujah ya kwamba hayo maneno tunayasoma ni ni ahadi ambayo mungu alimpa ibrahim kutoka kitabu cha mwanzo hadi mali hapa tunaposoma kitabu cha joshua Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, gave, he told him I will make your name great. I will make your descendants. I will bless them. And I will give them a land. Hallelujah. So this land of, 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 of Canaan where it is flowing with milk and honey is the place where Abraham was promised. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God which has been promised in your life will stay. It will never cease. Hallelujah. You are descendants. You are generation. Starting from you, we will be blessed until your generation. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. So this is the time when now, after the children of Israel had come from uh, the other side and came to Egypt, now God was telling, taking them back to go and possess their land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moses, who took them from Egypt, had already died now. Now Joshua had remained. So he was the one to take the children of Israel to Canaan land. God saw his heart that he was fearing. And he was encouraging him. Be of good cheer. Be courageous. Praise the name of the Lord. I will be with you as I was with Moses. After we have prayed and fasted and we have given our covenants, the devil can come to you in fear so that you don't possess your land so that you don't possess your greatness but this morning I have come to encourage you fear not be courageous and possess your land possess your job possess your, your, your upgrade possess your financial breakthrough possess your salvation in your home possess your businesses possess your shambas in the mighty name of Jesus possess your healing receive them in Jesus name receive them in Jesus name be courageous when you believe the word of God then you shall be prosperous and have good success and give Jesus a mighty hand clap hallelujah amen Amen. If you are fearing and you don't believe that God is able to do what you want, you are fearing, then you shall not receive your miracle. You know the devil is a liar. After prayer, he can come to you and bring for you uh, things to make you fear so that you can be faithless. And just saying, oh, I have prayed and fasted and I gave my first fruit. Now why is this happening to me? Why am I not doing this? this? Where is that God? I don't think there is God here. I don't know whether God is hearing my prayer. 
Don't be uh, uh, tangling here and there. Don't wave in your faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yep. This is the time to say the devil you are a liar. Did My God is true and yea and amen. He has said he's going to bless me, he's going to bless me. Hey. He's going to change my life, he's going to change my life. He's going to heal my disease, he's going to heal my disease. Go out from me. Come out from my life. Amen. You are a, a liar. The well, Lord is there God. for me and I believe that he is there and he has answered my prayer. Amen. Amen. Kiazita kwamba uwanze kuwa konsa imani kwa maneno ambayo uliomba mungu. Ya kwamba litatembea. Lakini mwabu ya shetani utoke kutoka kwangu. Kadika china la Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. 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 Receive it in Jesus mighty name. Tokea kadika china kula Yesu Kristo. Maybe the doctor has told you about the disease in your life. Uwende mwabu ya shetani. Maybe he has told you that you have cancer in your life. Maybe you are told you have tuberculosis in your life. Maybe you are told that you have this and that. In the mighty name of Jesus, if the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? If the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? Refuse him in Jesus' mighty name. Say, I am a descendant of, of, of Abraham. I am a descendant of Moses. I am a descendant of Jesus. Amen. And if he is on my side, who can be against me? Amen. May you receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Psalms 27, uh, nani, before that, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 and verses 11. Kitabu cha Efeso, sura ya sita kwanzia, aya ya kumi na moja. I'm encouraging you to be a great person. Hallelujah. Nina wahimiza muwe watu hodari. Don't be fearful. Don't be a doubter, somebody who doubts. Don't accept the, the, the snares of the enemy. Refuse and be strong. And Amen. Amina. Chapter 6, verse 10. Surah Kitabu ni chawa Efeso, Surah Sita. Kwanzia mstari wa kumi. It is saying. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Waifeso sura ya sita, mstari ni makumi, ntasoma kowezo wa roho mtakatifu. Hatimae, mzidi kuwa udari katika buwana na katika uweza wanguvu zake. Kumi na moja. Vaini sila zote za mungu. Mpate kuwenda kupinga kila za shetani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. The Bible says be strong in the Lord. Biblia nasema uwe hodari katika buwana. Amen. Amina. Have faith. Uwe na imani. Know the word. Ujue neno. Allow the spirit of God to work in your life. Supiri romu dakatifu afanya kwa. No whom you believe. The Bible says the devil is like a lion roaring here and there coming to see who is uh, not in a stable mind that he may devote. Praise the name of the Lord. He can come and bring sickness in your home. He can come and bring people to talk ill about you. People you have helped to come against you. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes you don't have anything to eat in your house. And the children are going to school. He wants you to start murmuring. Don't allow. Don't allow. Praise the name of the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. 
say no. My God is able. No. My God is going to provide. No. My God is going to heal me. No. My God is going to see me through. Praise the name of the Lord. Many a times we Christians, we are lazy. You only want pastor to pray for you. You don't want to pray for yourself. The Bible says you have given authority to tread upon the serpent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the dragon. You have the power to, to rebuke all the evil powers in your surrounding. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't allow the devil to put you down that you don't want to come to church. That I don't have fair. And yet when you want to go to town, you have fair. Tell the devil no. I can go to church. Whether I am going on foot, I can go to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord will bless your life. Sometimes it's just a trial in your life. Sometimes it's just a trial in your life. But when you overcome, you shall see the opening of God in your life. You shall see the opening of God in your life. You can see the blessings of your job in your life. You shall see the opening of business in your life. Because God will now know that if I bless you, you will work for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you only want money for your food, you don't want to give to God, you don't want to sacrifice to come to church, you want only to come when things are all right. In the name of Jesus Christ, do not fear. Be courageous. Do not fear. Be courageous. God will supply all your needs. He will supply to your family. He will supply food to your life. You shall not go hungry. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Can you give Jesus a mighty hand clap? Hallelujah. Let us stand up now.